Hello, welcome to November 10th, 2022. My name is Kurt, and this is my daily good life meditation video. Whew, not feeling it today. Yesterday was a hard day. I had I had the day off, but um, and I got a lot of work done at home. Uh, you know, finishing the house for, for, for it to be a place for us to live. Um, but I just, uh, whew, I'm out of it. Well, I injured myself. I had a table big heavy wooden table fall on my foot and I don't think I broke anything but I think I damaged something so um, it's going to be interesting riding the motorcycle to work this morning let's have to use that foot to shift the gears uh, probably should have gone to urgent care but I didn't instead I went to the beach and ran down the beach <laughs> that's not too smart oh and I hate, I absolutely hate taking days off from work when other people aren't taking, when, when my coworkers, come on, come on, when my coworkers are, aren't, aren't taking time off because it leaves me um, behind. And uh, the thing that gives me the most anxiety related to work is feeling like uh, I'm falling behind and can't keep up. I missed some important meetings yesterday. I have a lot of meetings today, and usually I would be ready for my meetings the morning of, and I'm not. So I'm pushing the envelope of my sense of well-being by having injured myself and dealing with the pain and... Uh, upsetting my comfortable, sane and sober routine. Pushing and discovering the limits of, of my true limits, my true opportunities, right? One of my objectives. Hmm. And it's still early. It's only 4.30, 4.32, so... Uh. Days like this. What is that sound? This where I hear something outside. Hmm. And the boy, the boys, my little dogs, want so much attention right now. Both of them. Ugh. Anyway, if ever there's been a day that I, well, I could give myself a lightning round, but, and I will, but I would like to become a person that could persevere through and do the better, better good life meditation in spite of the way that I feel and the pain that I'm feeling. There's definitely some noise going on. Okay, my seven objectives. To be always ready to die. To make good and effective use of time. To develop and maintain good and sound life principles. To cultivate good emotional reactions. To perform good actions. To recognize my true limits and my true opportunities. And to do just one thing at a time. And to do that thing slowly and deliberately and carefully. And on my 32 principles... War, reason, homunculus, anchor hold, home of good and evil, purpose, atomic principle, principle of nature, the pirate ride, the maturity, social principle, public speaking, distraction, agency and the great indifference, temperance, life will not go well, the horror show, I guess what's going on right now is a little example of the speed bumps that are the life will not go well, right? Um, I know they're not big things, but still, they unsettle me. Off my balance. Wishing for retreat, but I can't. Life will not go well. 
that which must be born, the feast of offal, the best seed in the house, the restless man, the path of wildness, the great life adventure, the sea, um, the risk of avoiding risk. A sin and damnation, complete oblivion, the bullseye aim, the up, no, it's season of philosophy, the bullseye aim, the uphill climb, arena and utility, nothing is enough, um, and then uh, the principle of fun, 32. I don't think I missed any of that time. <sighs> okay, now for today. I will uh, finish my coffee. I'll finish this. Finish my coffee. I'll read my Bible. Um, and then feed the dogs, walk the dogs, uh, change into my work clothes, get on my motorcycle and go to work. And I will do this day because it's what I do. It's what I've always done. I work. I am an employee. I have a job to do. Some days are comfortable. Some days are sweet. Some days are difficult. Sometimes I'm in pain. And it's difficult. But it's never as bad as it can't be caught through. I always get through. Although I remember my one employee, not employee, but coworker, about, it must have been five years ago, one of my coworkers, same place where I work now, came to work one day and uh, with, with a very fearful look in his eyes, like a man that uh, knew he was being hunted and uh, told me that he had cancer, uh, stage four, and that uh, he would be going out soon, dying. He has a family. And uh, he stuck with it for about a, maybe a month and a half, two months with us. He came in every day until he uh, checked out and then he went and died. That's a horror show. What I'm experiencing right now is nothing more than a, a summer rain shower in comparison. I think about him sometimes. In fact, he's one of the reasons that I have the horror show principle in the Good Life Creed. My remembrance that that uh, it could be any of us to whom that far off gaze, that far off look of fear, not far off look, that it's not a, it wasn't far, far off look in his eyes. It was an immediate look, an immediate fear. He was seeing something that uh, I didn't see. Looking back, I was too distracted. And I, 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 I've often regretted that. Wished that I had been there, more there for him. I was so burdened with my own troubles at the time, my own challenges. Anyway, enough of that. Time to do the day. Wish you all the best. Be safe, but not too safe.